Let's do this. All right. If you don't remember, we read an article on Bubble Sort in Pure JS. Well, the man is back. Graham is back, and he did Snake in Pure HTML. No JS, no CSS, no images. Snake, the game in HTML. I know. Personally, I have no idea how that's even possible. So I would like to watch this. They say that some people like chaos. Hi, I'm Graham. I love chaos, the dev. And this time I am back with another silly internet experiment. You can skip straight to the game if you want. I do want to play the game. How do I get to the game? Uh, wait, how do I, how do I drive? Let's see. The keys you're going to use is alt key. I can't use anything with alt key. I literally cannot use alt. Man, why'd you have to make it with alt? I wonder what he did to make alt. What'd he do to make alt? Please zoom in. Give me that apple. Oh, you can't press down. If you're going up, you can't press down. That makes perfect sense. I, my bad, my bad. I haven't played that. Uh, cursed to the extreme. Well, now that we know that this is cursed, let's, oh my goodness. I can't press back. Oh, I get to watch myself play. No, no, no. Stop it, please. Dev, dev. Dude, I, please. No, no, I don't. No. All right, anyways, let's go on. I started so innocently. Can I write a snake game? But as always, the little devil on my shoulder, make it harder. And I thought, no JavaScript, do it in pure CSS. <laughs> I love how that's like stepping stone to making it in HTML. But as always, the little devil on my shoulder whispered, make it harder. So I thought, oh, pure CSS. Yet again, he chirped, Pfft, still too easy. And you have done too much CSS lately. Do it raw, unstyled, HTML. I turned to my other shoulder to hear what the angel thought, hoping for someone more sensible. And then I remembered that the angel is never there for me. So here it is, snake in pure HTML with a little PHP trickery to power it. That's right. Okay, okay. No JavaScript, no images, no CSS, no cookies. However, I want to be clear, as I do not want to be accused of clickbait. I am rendering this HTML using PHP. Although, it is possible to do it in pure HTML files uh, using just files with no backend language. It would require that many files. That's more files than there are atoms in the universe. Okay. So please excuse the shortcut of using PHP to generate the next page. And for those who... Uh, who spend too much time on each tech t uh, Twitter, please excuse my use of dead language too. <laughs> PHP is great, okay? Stop it. Anyways, there is too much uh, preamble. Now I know you are here and you want to see it in action. Play the snake game. It works in Chrome on desktop PC and is, let's see, it, it's too fast to play on Firefox and any other browser on iOS for me. You'll see later why in this article. So basically, play it in Chrome on desktop. The keys are this. Crazy keys, by the way. On Mac, it's Control Option instead of Alt, I believe. If you want to know why these weird keys and not WASD, unfortunately, Alt-D is already used in Chrome on Windows. So I had to pick Save Keys. One last warning. One of the tricks we use to make it work will flood your browser history with a lot of URLs. You have to be warned. I noticed that. When I tried to back out of the game, I was back and I was back. I was backpedaling. Okay, we are going full in backpedal. We are downhill backpedaling. Uh, the game. Sadly, this won't run in CodePen. You'll have to play it on my site. When you have finished playing it, pop back here and see what the tricks I've used. Okay, we already did that. Problem one, getting a game tick. For a game, you generally need to have a game tick. Each tick is when an action occurs or you compute a new game state and then render the new game state. Okay, but then that arises our first issue. How can we possibly have a page automatically update without JavaScript? Well, to do this in HTML, it is actually quite simple. Just use meta HTTP equals refresh and set a low value. So then we started out at 0.35 seconds refresh time and then speed that up to 0.2 seconds refresh time as your score climbs. Respect. There is some... There's some hefty respect going on. What meta refresh allows us to do is instruct the browser that once it land, uh, once it has loaded the HTML for the page, wait for X seconds and then load another URL. By setting a low refresh time and then changing the URL, we redirect to to in each refresh. More on that in a second. We have a way of having the page change all on its own, even if you don't have to press any buttons. Here's a quick example of what the refresh looks like. Refresh content time URL URL to direct to. This is clever. We're, low, we're feeling pretty clever. I see where this is gone. Side note, this is where I mentioned earlier that it doesn't work on other browsers. They do not accept partial second refresh time. So the refresh is instant, making the game too fast to play. But meta refresh alone isn't enough to make the game work. We'll need some way of saving the game state and communicating changes in the snake direction to the server. For that, we'll use another straightforward trick, URL encoded get parameters. 
Okay, okay, problem two, managing game state. Because we cannot use post requests or anything like that, we need another mechanism for managing game state between the browser and the server. URLs, at first I was uh, managing the state with get at parameters, so the URL looked like this. Okay, this worked fine right up until the point I needed to store multiple points for the snake. X, Y coordinates for each square it occupied. When I did get it working with some trick, uh, with some hacky X, Y coordinates list and parsing, the snake 1, 1, 2, 1, uh, with the snake being at 1, 1 and X, 2, or X, 2, Y, 1, was, a, was or that was messy. Holy cow, can't read stroke, stroke, I, stroke, I. While I did get it working with some hacky X, Y coordinates list and parsing, we had 1, 1 and 2, 1, with the snake being at 1, 1 and 2, 1, that was messy. Agreed. So instead, we turn our good friend URL encode and, your, and JSON encode. Used together, I can take an array, or in this case, multi-dimensional array, convert it to JSON, and then convert it to a valid character for a URL. Let me explain. All right. All right. All right. We're, I was stroking. I was stroking hard just then, storing some complex data in the URL. Here's a sample data that I use for the game state. Okay. By the way, this is called an associative array for people not used to the PHP. This is how PHP defines effectively like a POJO, an object, okay? It may be a little bit hard for you to understand. I understand it's a little strange. Uh, to store that data in the URL, we need the following. Okay, fair. But JSON encoding uh, our array and then replacing invalid characters with URL-friendly ones. That gives our state, our state in a URL-friendly, although not human-readable way, yeah. Classic. Now that we have the mechanism to pass the game state down to the browser and back up to the server. Okay, okay. Max URL lengths. This is a real problem. I think it's 2,000 characters. Yeah, 2,000. Those of you, there was a bug at Netflix due to this. 10 years ago, there was a bug that uh, that was encountered on the team that had, a, that had a character problem. I think some coding guy was the one that figured it out. If I'm not mistaken, the guy who used to uh, live code on, on Twitch. I think he, he's officially graduated. Uh, those of you that don't, uh, that know your stuff and know that, uh, know a gotcha here, there is a maximum URL length in Chrome. It is 2,083 characters. If you play the game long enough, you'll actually hit that character limit. I wonder why it's 2,083. I have no idea. Why, why 83? Why not 48? At least it's like two to the 11. What is two to the 11 plus more? What is that? Like, what is that? Who does that? If you play the game, it's a strange number. If you play the game long enough, you'll actually hit that character limit and store the X, let's see, as it stores the XY position pairs, we use over 10 characters each time. But this is a silly demo, so I'll say, let me know what error happens if you make the snake long enough. Oh, and in the real world, you shouldn't use JSON and code parameters in the URL. Let's leave it at that. Fair. We have a game state and a game ticks now. What? That is it. Well, almost. We need to communicate key presses to the server. Okay, so this is the thing that I did not know how he did. The refresh I did not know about, but the moment he said you can refresh with the URL and all that, that was pretty straightforward. The uh, the game state, that was completely predictable. But this one, I do not know how this works. Changing the snake direction. This was the final problem and why we ended up with the game's uh, state in the URL. We need to communicate a key press to the server to change the snake direction. Problem 3A, button presses. Before we can communicate key presses to the server, we need some way to actually capture them. Remember, we have no JS to capture key presses. We also can't use button elements as those require JS to work. Do they? Could you do form buttons? Could you do form buttons and encode the next state in the form buttons? Yeah, because the problem is, is that the moment you press, you'd actually get like a tick tick. Tick tick, right? It'd be a little bit off. So you can use like a form and a button and encode the state as a get and then PHP. Yeah, and then PHP it, right? Okay. But you also can't use button uh, elements as they uh, as those require JS to work. So all we have left is a humble anchor tag. But getting some uh, someone to click on anchors would make the game hard to play, as I did because I can't use alt. Luckily, there is something called access key S built into HTML. They allow us to assign a character to an anchor, and then these can be accessed via a shortcut. Alt plus the character in Chrome on Windows. What? I did not know this. I did not know this. Important. This gave us our mechanism for allowing keyboard uh, controls. We just need four links, anchors, with different directions uh, as the URLs, then assign them to the access key to each of them. Ah. Access uh, S should be used sparingly. If you pick keys that are used by assistive technologies, users, uh, users then it may interfere. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Problem 3B, direction. Now that we have a way to press keys and a way to communicate that key press to the server, we need a way to manage presses so that they update the snake direction. Luckily, we already have direction property in our state object we pass via URL, so encode it into each state. Yep, there you go. Okay, I'm, okay awesome, awesome. I wasn't far off with the form and the button. Then we add those links. Okay. That's cool. That's cool.
That is cool. Uh, now, if you press Alt-K, for example, uh, the fourth link is clicked, and we send the current state plus new direction to the server. Now, all that is left is to take the information and compute the next game state. Fair. This is fair. Finally, the last part of the puzzle is a bit of game logic. For example, when generating the food position, we need to check it isn't on the tile uh, the snake already occupies. So we have this function. Game, game programming. Four element was a good guess, but with uh, but without uh, J, uh, JS, no hooks. Yeah, yeah. That the hard part is the le- the typing. A real man would have done it. Uh, done this without PHP. True. Should have been go. And then another function to move uh, the snake. I like it. I like it. And then you have a whole bunch of stuff to like put everything everywhere and update all the positions and generate the food and blah 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 blah. And there you go. State. Okay. Why not Visual Basic? That's actually a fact. I'm kind of stupid. Then a loop to build the game board. Beautiful. Beautiful. My goodness. But I'm not going to cover in any detail, though, let's see, as those things that you can easily look up uh, and find a much cleaner ways to do so. Find better code other people have written and adapt our needs. By the way, this is a really good point for people that write blog posts. Notice he gave us just enough code to understand what's happening, but didn't give us all the details. This was fantastic. Like, I could tell from here exactly what's going on. He's not even using span elements. He's not using anything. He's just text writing out stuff. And then he echoes a new line. He must wrap it in a pre-tag or something, is my guess. Yeah, a pre-tag. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, there you go. Pre-tag. Okay, so he puts it in a pre-tag. It's really smart. Like, this is super, super smart. And this is fantastic. I absolutely like this. I absolutely pre-tagged. Yeah, pre-tagged. Pre-read, pre-tagged. Um, super cool. Super cool. Good job on this one. Oh, I like it. Okay, what's what's your ending? What's your ending? That's a wrap. So there you have it. We built a game using meta refresh access keys and a hack uh, to encode complex data in a URL. Will these things be useful uh, in our, your day to day? No, probably not. Will they perhaps save your ass in a weird edge case? Go. Uh, got to get this finished. Can afford to use a hack to ship to production situation? Possibly. It's a good reason to know why things are available. It doesn't mean you should build them. I'm jaded on this. I don't, I don't this. I, well, of course you would never want to, I don't like this. Of course you wouldn't. I, what do you mean you're jaded? Okay, defy us all. Hit, hit me. D- d- defy us all. This is your first time on the big board. Defy us all. Hit me. Why don't you like it? Hey, Bobby Berm. How you doing? Uh, incoming, it's stinky. No, I think, I think uh, defy us all usually has some good takes here. Oh no. Uh, I feel like it over-engineered. Well, that's the point. What defy us all that the entire point is? Can you do it? Not our scientists were too busy asking what we could do as opposed to why should we do it or whatever the Jeff Goldblum talk was. That's the point. Too busy asking how and not why. Okay, that's the fun part. This the man just hey, let the man create Jurassic Park. Okay. Let him create Jurassic Park. Sure, a few people will be killed, and Newman from Seinfeld will be eaten by that one guy. You know that guy? But that's it. You know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. What, what, what's his name? I use Jeff Goldblum on my uh, on all my spam emails. That's pretty That's pretty fair. That's pretty fair, by the way. That movie is so good. It is a good one. Uh, what? You weren't expecting a useful tutorial from me, were you? Uh, you should know better by now. But with uh, that being said, if you did enjoy this article or some other miracle, you learned something new, drop me a comment below. It really means a lot. Well, I'm not logged in, but I if I could, if I could like you, I would like you. Instead, I'll, I'll read you and I'll put you on YouTube and put your link everywhere. This was fantastic. Clever girl. (laughs) Clever girl. The name. It's Clever Girligen. And don't put too much state in the URLs. Did you know that the first time I rolled my own auth back in 2009, I used used a uh, hash generated on the server with a salt of a JSON object, and so I did hash dot JSON object, base64 URL encoded it, which was a PHP thing, you had to do a couple replaces and then use that as your uh, cookies in the URL. And so that way our app could load in Facebook apps. Because if you don't remember, Facebook used to have an app store. And so to make it work inside of an app and for you to be logged in, I would actually log you in through the URL and all that. Yeah, pretty clever. Great hack. Thank you. I thought it, I thought it was pretty clever too. Boomer talk. Yeah, this is Boomer talk. Okay, it's called rolling your own auth and being amazing at it. And I did that. So guess what? the name sometimes sometimes a man has to roll his own authogen okay 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 sometimes you find yourself out there needing to roll your own off and sometimes that's what you got to do okay buddy a gen